So just a quick video on the next project on the bench. This is a uh, Hewlett Packard uh, HP 200 CD audio signal generator. Uh, this is one of the first things Hewlett Packard came out with. Uh, one of the things that was very innovative about this is uh, actually, you can see over here on the side, uh, a pair of light bulbs. And these light bulbs are used in the Pius circuit. Uh, to provide a level of stability that you don't get with just fixed resistors. So it was a, a very innovative idea, uh, provided a very stable oscillator output in terms of uh, being able to uh, maintain a constant amplitude even if uh, the volt line voltage varied or there were um, other variations that, uh, like in temperature that might, might cause more traditional oscillator um, designs to, to, uh, to fluctuate fluctuate in the amplitude output. Uh, on the front, uh, this is actually, most today would be, um, tuned, well, if they're, if they're digital, they would be synthesized, but uh, the, the lower cost ones today would be tuned with a, uh, a variable resistor. This uses a variable capacitor and actually has a, uh, a reduction dial on the front uh, for more precise setting. Uh, I've heard, although I'm not certain, uh, that the numbers were pre-etched on the dials, but that the lines themselves were put on uh, unit by unit uh, so that the dial is, is specific for um, this particular uh, uh, generator. Um, this, this specific one, not just the specific model. Um, I'm gonna have to do a couple things before I'm able to actually test it. Uh, the electrolytic capacitors are, uh, are back here in the corner and they're pretty aged. Uh, this model is the next to the last before they finish the 200 CD uh, series or the 200 series of, of audio oscillators. Back here in the corner is a, uh, a rectifier tube. The last uh, series went with uh, solid state rectifiers. Um, the transformer has three windings, the one for the, uh, the heaters on the tubes, the, uh, the main one for the, the high voltage supply and then the five volt supply for the, the rectifier tube. I don't know if I'll keep the rectifier tube or, or move towards a solid state. Uh, at first I thought this was was rusted and uh, was not that uh, eager to take it on as a, a restoration project because I didn't think I could get it uh, anywhere close to where uh, I would like to get it uh, in terms of the just the aesthetics. Uh, but this is actually the, the color and these even these tube uh, covers, they, they look rusted but that's the color they came uh, apparently from the factory, some kind of finish. Um, so that, that was kind of interesting. Um, on the front, it is missing the uh, the badge that would traditionally go down here and have the uh, the HP logo and the uh, the part number, the 200 CD uh, part number on it. Uh, it's got the range switch and amplitude switch, so fairly fairly simple to uh, to operate. Not a lot of functions and features. 600 ohm um, output signal, output impedance and uh, can either be balanced uh, using these or uh, unbalanced where you ground one leg. To get the 600 ohms out, there's a pair of... Uh, so this is uh, back in here. This, this transformer is actually a, uh, a signal transformer that is used to, uh, on the lower frequencies, to provide the, uh, the balanced 600 ohm output. So. Uh, the, the oscillator itself drives the primary of that output transformer and the secondary of the output transformer is what feeds to, uh, to the front there. And then there's a smaller transformer that is up, up in here. Um, that's the one that's used at the, uh, the higher frequencies. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed in just looking through this is that uh, uh, there's a pair of um, Black Beauty um, or Black Cat uh, electrolytic capacitors they are kind of notorious for uh, for not being good and uh, not being worth trying to reform. So I'll probably replace those. Uh, obviously, some cobwebs and stuff like that. That's the um, six Henry choke that is part of the uh, the power supply. Um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Um, actually, uh, there was also this came from the uh, estate of a uh, silent key, local silent key. Um, I helped clean out the garage a couple weeks ago. Got a trailer uh, full of stuff. There was this. There's also a uh, HP 608 uh, RF signal generator. 
it looks like it's in pretty good shape uh, that I'm hoping to restore in a couple other pieces of test equipment. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, to share that, and I'll uh, I'll uh, post occasional updates as uh, I progress through this.